musicians and artists that are out there today. You know, they got these comments and say, wow, it must have been really great. So they get fat and satisfied and they get lost and they forget about the actual talent that they have and they start living into another world, you know. That's an interesting problem, isn't it? You, uh, if someone said about Janis Joplin, who's a su superstar now, you, you know Janis, I expect. Superstar. Oh, yeah. Well, so they, they did. Yes, she I, certainly is in my heart. Uh, I'm super chicken. <laughs> Don't you forget it. <laughs> and, don't, and don't I forget it? No, I was going to say, uh, the problem of succeeding is a hard one for you if your basis, say, is in the blues or something like that, and you suddenly make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Uh, someone said it's hard to, to sing the blues when you're making that kind of money. Uh, this assumes that you can't be unhappy and have a lot of money. Yeah, well, sometimes it gets to be really easy to sing the blues when you're supposed to be making all this much money, you know. Because, like, money is it's getting to be out of hand now, you know, it's... You know, and like musicians, especially young cats, you know, they get a chance to make all this money and they say, wow, this is fantastic. And like I said before, they lose themselves and they forget about the music itself, you know. They forget about their talents. They forget about the other half of them. So therefore, you can sing a whole lot of blues. The more money you make, the more blues sometimes you can sing. But the idea is like a, to, you know, use all these hang-ups and all these different things, you know, like, as steps in life, you know. It's like drinking coffee. Well, you don't drink it every day or else you go into another scene with it, you know. Like it escapes and all this. I don't know, but it sounds good. No. <laughs>